The main pool at Soldock Hot Springs is about 102 degrees. 98 degrees was more my speed. Unfortunately, that was a kiddie pool and it was about one foot of water, but hey, it was nice. There's just something magical about being in a pool in October in the mountains. This main pool is only 61 degrees and Cliff was crazy enough to try it out. Next morning, we decided to head into Forks. We had heard that there was a water main breakage and this was pretty much confirmed on our way out to town. We could see them working on it. We almost ran out of water, so we got out just in time. In Forks, we had to stop for a burger, of course. And where did we go? Sully's. On the way back up, we decided to pull off and check out a river, the Solduck River, where a lot of salmon will swim up. Unfortunately, we were a little late for that, but the river was still really nice. Our campsite was really large. It was only a small area where you could put the camper, but behind it, there was just this huge area that went all the way back to the road. And I was really surprised how many trees were down. And this is just in our campsite. And then there was this particularly precarious tree that was sort of leaning on another. And uh, yeah, it really made me wonder about these big trees and camping. It'd be dangerous. We decided to have a friendly game of dice before we made our dinner. We decided to make pad thai, because that's a normal camping food, right? Upon leaving camp, we encountered three bears on the side of the road. It's kind of fun to catch them, because on our way home, we had a little bit of a delay where a tree had come down and hit um, a car. Um, luckily, the couple from California were okay. They were unhurt. Um, we were here for about an hour and a half waiting for the police to arrive and for the Washington Department of Transportation to bring uh, a truck and some chainsaws to be able to clear the road. Cliff and I both thought that, you know, it was probably a good thing that we stopped to look at the bears because we were only about 10 cars behind where this happened and uh, really makes you respect how big the trees are and how dangerous it can be. And again, so fortunate that no one was hurt. So um, we got uh, the road cleared and then we carried on our way. It's a great trip, lots of wildlife and uh, a couple interesting mishaps.